the apex of combat. And the apex looking to retain his title here tonight. You know, Shane, you know, I believe we talked we talked about this prior. Uh, the last show that we had right here at the Stronghold Arena, it did not end quite the way fans wanted it to end. Uh, the owner, Brandon K, thought that he would do due diligence with the Brownsville Area High School. That didn't end the way we wanted it to end. But Lewis said, don't forget about me. This is a triple threat match for the Rise Grand Slam champion. Challenger number one. Let's hear the introductions from Hank Hudson. Weighing 160 pounds, this is Lewis. The underdog. Introducing to my right, challenger number two from St. Paul, Minnesota. Weighing 220 pounds, he is the next trending topic, Jack Pollock. The unfinished business. We are in for a treat, Rise Wrestling. And now to my left, the defending Rise Grand Champion from the 45th Chamber, weighing 80 kilos, is the Apex of Combat, Lee Moriarty. And the undisputed Rise Grand Champion, ladies and gentlemen, the triumvirate here. Set, ready, poised to rise up with the title on the line. There is what is at stake. Who are you expecting for this matchup as we prepare for this one and only main event? Who are you expecting for this? I think the champ is going to come out on top and retain here. you got to believe he's prepared for this one. He's trained for it. He knows Jack Pollock. Oh, uh, here we go. Shades of what we saw at Brownsville High School. Jack takes the title. Ultimate disrespect. This, for a wrestler, this is almost like smacking your mother. You understand how much of a disrespect that is? I do. And it, it didn't help him in the last couple matchups. We'll see if it helps him here tonight. You know, Rev's mama didn't raise any forward. I don't think Lee Moriarty's did neither. Let's not forget about Lewis, though. If he calculates this just right, we could have a new grand champion tonight. Also, it might be a little bit of... Confidence there on display from the apex of combat. He looks at the title, but he knows that's his. Jack Pollock needs to earn it here. Some work. Oh, oh. they're being shoved there. And the nerd says, hey, you got unfinished business, but I got a shot at the title. And now, shades of February 10th and March 3rd. But now, the nerd adds his take into it. Lewis is trying all that he can to get in there, but at the same Lewis time... At him, he, is, he knows Jack uh -oh. Holt, they have history, but oh, the nerd Lewis again has one. landing and putting himself into this match. He has to remind the champion of these two rivals that he's in this. And now they're teaming up. Lewis said, I'm not going to calculate this by myself. Let's do this together. And it's a smart move in a triple threat. You want to know why? Because one plus one equals two. And one is the loneliest number. Grab. Again, that fantastic education on display as the nerd gets slammed down on a jackpot. The Lee cool said, awesome. I'm not going to make it that easy for you. This is my title. That's right. You guys have to understand that. Wait, 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 wait. One. Do we have two. a new chip? No. Close, but no and that's how the nerd's going to have to win this, Rev. I think you'd agree with that. He's going to have to be sneaky, crafty. Absolutely. And I think what better, what better person to do it? That alliance quickly oh, dissolving there. Oh, what a shot. Almost broke his glass. That didn't factor into the, the calculations. Oh, tripping up the nerd here. Drop down. Goes down. And look at that. Oh, dragging him over to kick out. Lee Moriarty going to look for, oh, look at this, the nerd now. Backslide. Backslide here, cover, and no. What do you think has to happen right now? Wait, oh. Sunset flip. Sunset flip, cover, one, two, no. And look at this, Reverse. cover again, two, and no. He's going to retain. Two, one, two, three, two. Back and oh, forth, let's the go here. Oh, my, my, mamma mia. The nerd. Came so close. Fans are respecting this. They were not expecting this. I wasn't expecting Lee to wrestle the suspenders off. Oh, and here, oh, Jack Pollock flipping the champion around, and the nerd goes with him. 
They're down in the center of the ring, and Jack Pollock smartly waiting for them to, to brawl it out here. We're talking about this, the uh, uh, Jack Pollock, the next training topic, tosses Lee out almost like a piece of trash and now focuses on Lewis. You gotta understand, this is the focal point of Jack. He is not new to this business. Seven plus years in the game, trained by WWE. Pretty much a, a, a legend, a honorable person in the business, Lance Storm. And I mean, taking the glasses off there. This he guy, th th this guy is from a fine cloth. Exactly. He has the pedigree and he has the strength there to drop the nerve down, face first into the canvas two, kick out of two. You know what? I wasn't expecting Lee to kick out of that, but I guess someone had their uh, Wheaties and said their prayers this morning. And Jack Pollock is smart there. He wants to keep the apex of combat out of this match and focus entirely on the nerve. Shane, we talked about this prior, uh, prior even at intermission on Facebook, if you go to the Facebook of Rise Wrestling, uh, that you don't need to pin Lee in order to become champion. Ooh. He can pin Lewis, and in my opinion, that's a smart way to go about it, uh, kind of judging by the characteristics exactly. of both guys. The Apex of Combat does not have to be pinned to lose the title here. That's important to keep in mind. Classic triple threat rules. Ooh. Off the ropes and into the fist. And off Ooh. the ropes and delivering the move. Jack Pollock looking for the finish there. Russell Alex Week. One, two, kick out. Ooh. Lee barely being able to crawl up to the rope in order to get in. And here we go, the Apex of Combat off the top rope, delivering the clothesline. One thing that we cannot take away from Lee, he knows how to appropriately use all parts of the ring for his good. If he does not have the leverage naturally, he's going to use the momentum, and that's exactly what he did. And with incredible style and flair there as he drives the knee up into the face. And oh, what a drop kick. You heard the contact of boot on flesh. And a kick out of two. I think that was right to the jaw, right after the double knees from the corner. And if we could sponsor this, I would probably sponsor by asking all dental because, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that could have been a whole week now. Right there. Oh, absolutely. We saw some teeth fly in Brownsville. And Lee rising up here with the audience behind him. Here comes the, oh, if he connects with all of these, this could be it. This is how he wears down the, his opponent. The Bruce Lee of pro wrestling, as he's been called. You mentioned that on the last show. Rev, hook of the leg, to kick out. And now, Lee going to bring him up. And no, Jack Pollock going to swing for the hill oh. here. And there's a slap right to the face. Lee to the jaw. Back and forth they go, exchanging oh. until the final blow was delivered there by Lee in that exchange, leaping back up to his feet, shades of the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Also a little bit of shades of Diamond Dallas Page. That's that right. Really sneak the back cover. into this and the drop kick into the corner. Look at that. The full body weight of the nerve. It might what, not be much, I expect here? I don't think we saw him do this before. The momentum carrying him. Oh, oh, another drop kick there. And like I said, the nerve's not the biggest pro wrestler, but he can make his body weight work to his advantage with the height and the velocity. It doesn't do take it. you to be a big guy to make an impact yeah. in this business. Wait a second. One, two, and no. As I'm saying, it doesn't take you to be the biggest person to make an impact in this business. I mean, look at some of the greats. Ray Mysterio. Yes, Roddy Roddy Piper. You know, the, some of the smallest of the guys make the biggest ripples within the water of professional wrestling. We can potentially see history in the making right here at Rise. Reminds me of Mick Foley, the ultimate underdog there, winning the title for the first time. Could we see that here in the nerd tonight? Could we perhaps see a little bit of the uh, number one, two, three kick? Potentially, another great underdog. And there's another closing. Jack like you saw his eyes Wait, roll the back of his head and no. Almost rolled. Lee barely being able to reason. get in there. How much does this, how, how much do you think this means to each one of these guys? It means everything. It's the, the, the pinnacle of their careers. It's the pinnacle of live pro wrestling. All three of these combatants want to walk out of the stronghold as champion. Who's going to win it all? Oh, Spinebuster, as Jack Paul looks to answer just that question. That'll take the wind out of your rev. A Spinebuster in the center of the ring. Hook of the leg, too. Kick out again, another near fall. 
Jack Pollock seconds away from winning the championship. All it takes is one move, one mistake, and we crown a new champion. In this industry, like you said, it takes one move, one mistake. In three seconds. In three seconds. That's all. One bad move, and it can be over. One of the worst mistakes of your life. I've made a couple of them uh, just within my years of wrestling, and it, it, you don't want to look back on it and regret any moves that you have made. The heart, the fight, caught there, lifted up onto the shoulders of Jack Pollock, and down he goes. This Another is hook of the leg might crown a new champion. Very smart. Remember I talked to you about the the, uh, the amount of years and experience that Jack has. Notice that unlike some other pins, Jack actually rolled the arm of Lewis in, trying to uh, keep his shoulders down on the mat for that three. Veteran, That's one thing veteran Jack maneuver. Veteran maneuver there. You see Jack Pollock, he is in full control of this one for the time being, but the apex of combat going to battle back. and Listen to that crowd. The fans are behind him here. Elbow misses. The shots from Lee do not. Chops right to the chest. And again, Lee feeling it. And also feeling the turnbuckle there as he lands. Scorpion. Faces hooked up. One, two. Oh, and almost crowned a new Rise Grand Slam champion. And that's what's on the line here, ladies and gentlemen. You can feel the excitement, the electricity in the air. We have a title on the line. I can't tell you how close the tension is. You can cut it because here's the reality of it. You cannot see the other opponent, but the other opponent is Lewis the Nerd as he's temporarily suffering from a small injury on the ground. However, in this match, two people will go home upset. One person will go home with their hand held. Stuck under and lands right into the boot of Jack Pollock who now may be three seconds away. We talk about a one, two, and no. Grabs the rope, does the champion, and rolls out of the ring. And the nerd, according to his head, he's on the outside. I think he's regretting the mistake oh, that he made. Jack Pollock, you do not want to insult him. He is chasing after the nerd here, and the nerd might be, this might be part of the plan here. I don't know. We'll see. What are the calculations of Mr. Lewis? He's off the ropes and delivers the elbow. You know what? Ten minutes, gone. Ten minutes. Ten minutes, but that doesn't mean anything gone by here. We saw Jack Pollock and Lee Moriarty going the distance time and time again, and there's a German suplex. Now you have Lewis in the equation. Wait a second. What is this? Eats, 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 eats. <laughs> I'm buttoning up. Ladies and gentlemen, he's ripping it off. Oh. And Lewis is fired up, delivering those shots to the chest. I think Lee has, uh, not Lee, but Lewis the Nerd has snapped to another dimension of sanity. I don't know oh, if he, uh, yeah, he, I don't know if he uh, drank the wrong juice in chemical class and chemistry class or not, but... Oh, the tide coming off now. Lewis is looking for his finish. Code breaker, no. And look at this. Is this going to be a sharpshooter here? Yes. This is going to be all she wrote. If he taps, if he taps, it all we hinges. might have a new champion. It all hinges on Ladies the Ladies and gentlemen, this might be it. Of Mr. Lewis. Oh, what a super kick. You could hear it. You could feel it. And Jack Pollock goes down. All three guys down in the center of the ring. And that's how much this means to him. As Shane and I were talking about, this is one moment. One moment that can slip through the hands of two people and be in the grasp of one person. This is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Three men with the pinnacle of pro wrestling here at Rise and the stronghold on the line. Count is up to six and now... Lee and Jack are swinging on each other here. They're on a knee. Let's take a listen to this, though. Notice the knuckles on stall, the sound, the impact, the, the tension, the aggression. They're putting it all on the line right the now. History. It's the unfinished business I was talking about here as Lee. Ooh. Look at that. Jack Pollock expecting it, anticipating it, and now going to drive Lee down. But Lee's anticipating that maneuver and right the third, who lands the code breaker. And now, good luck. Is good up timing. 1v1 against the champion, lands the second code breaker there. If he could just make the pin on one of them, he's going to be up. 
Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, we have history to make it cover to your new So close, so close, you can almost taste it in the grasp of his hand, ladies and gentlemen. It does not get any closer than that. But against two of the of the combatants that went for the one of the longest matches in Rise Pro Wrestling history, that's to be expected. These are tough athletes here in the center of the ring. And the nerd is trying I, to calculate how he can finish this one off. I think Lewis is hulking up, as we like to call it here in wrestling. Can you feel it, brother? I think Lewis can. He said, Lee Moriarty, oh. I'm coming. Oh, never mind. No, he just legs drop the, drops a leg on the canvas. And <laughs> Explain to the audience what that feels like, Rev. What, just missing that move? I'll tell you this, your tailbone can shift. This this is not any type of cushion. It is hard. It is firm. When you land on it, oh, you miss your Jack pulled back up and now paying for that missed leg drop. A little bit too much showmanship from the nerd. As a matter of fact, my chiropractor gets on me a lot just because of the misalignment. You, you, a lot of things in wrestling happens that fans do not see. Sometimes that's the most punishing maneuver is missing a maneuver. Absolutely. Most punishing damage was staying at, oh, look at that. But Lee landed hard after delivering that. And Jack Pollock is the only one on a vertical basis. I think Jack Pollock just spit out a tooth from some of those shots he took earlier. And now the nerd. Are, are we going to see? All three are on their feet. Are we going to see an alliance here? Oh, oh, that was right to the back of the head. And oh, right to the back of the head yet again from Jack Pollock. But now Jack Pollock is trying to kick a nerd out of the ring. One, two, no. Uh oh. We oh, saw he's this got, before. got the submission lock Wait, in here. Notice this. Notice this. Jack, Jack is holding on, fighting back. He cannot fully grasp that custody in there. Exactly. Joint custody arm bar almost locked in. Jack Pollock going to deny it. Off the ropes he goes and catches that normal athletic jump. Lands the spine buster there. That's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. One, two. You're new. Oh. No, no, no. Settle in for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This is absolutely unreal. I'm pretty sure if some of our fans are able to even talk to us right now, they would say this needs to be Ooh. somewhere within the big go. leagues, within perhaps a McMahon. Well, this is the big leagues with the Rise Grand Championship on the line. Jack Pollock. Oh! Bring the boot there. I think that is the soul. 15 polish. minutes, hook of the leg. One, One two, two. Oh! Lee Moriarty refusing to give up here. That is how much the championship means to him. Say what you want about it. All wrestlers all around the globe will tell you when you have a championship, a target is on your back at any given it's moment. It's like the crown. It's a curse. It as absolutely well as a, as a, is. A, a, a sign of accomplishment. Everyone's your best friend until you hold a title. Then you realize everyone stabs you in the back. And everybody wants to be oh, king. Man. Lee Moriarty is the reigning king of Rise Pro Wrestling. He lands that boot there. Did you hear that snag to the arm? Everybody could hear it. And down he goes. Cook, one, two, no. Kicked out. It wasn't really a, a hook. It was more of just a pinfall from the maneuver. Now rolled up here. Lee Moriarty goes for the finish. Six. No. Bearing and now the into the joint custody arm bar, but no. If he can just get just a quarter of the way to that rope, he can perhaps get a rope break. But notice that Lee is pushing him back to the center of the ring. Smart, it's smart throw. awareness. It's, it's an oasis in the distance, and Jack Pollock is in the middle of a desert right now trying to claw and scratch his way in the nerd in here. Talking about clawing and scratching, Lewis just now being able to get back in the ring. Off the ropes goes the champion. Oh! What a finisher there from the champion. Reminiscent of the, the great Booker T, five-time WCW champion. Now can you dig that, Sarah? <laughs> Shane. Steven. Shane. Oh, here we go. Championship on the line. And again, going for the joint custody arm bar. Can you lock it in? He's looking to lock it in and lock in his defense as champion, but rolls through. Rolled back through now. to reestablish himself. He Ladies has got it in. Oh, smart. look at the fingers. Look at the hand. You see the pressure. <laughs> Will he tap out the palm of the hand of Jack Ball? Ladies and, and gentlemen, he retained. He retained. Still your Rise Grand Slam champion. A new champion will not be crowned tonight.
and still lies grand champion to the apex of combat. Right, 99.8% of the time, I predicted it, I called it, and the apex of combat is your reigning.